I am assigned to the International and Operational Law Division that supports OJEC Code 10, and I've been in the Navy for 19 years. Well, I joined the peacetime Navy back in 1995, and the mission sets completely changed from when I started, um, going from a peacetime Navy and a peacetime worldview to now a country that's been in conflict for a long time. And throughout those 19 years, I've seen that shift. And so I got off of active duty in 2009. I had amassed 13 years in, on active duty. And I had assumed that I would complete 20 or more years on active duty. But I'm married to a now a retired judge advocate. And we had small children. And so I was facing life decisions. And, and, and it was just the natural step to become a reservist. It wasn't, should I, but how quickly can I? to continue serving in the manner in which my family has served. Um, and it was the, the best decision that I made for my family. Um, I became an, a, an attorney with the um, civilian side of the Department of the Navy with the Office of General Counsel. I started in acquisition integrity and then I've moved on in, into what I currently do, which is acquisition and fiscal work for Naval Air Systems Command. Um, but what I found was, as soon as I became a reservist, so many opportunities became available to me. Not that they weren't available to me on active duty, but when you're in a defined billet, for three years, that's your mission. But as a reservist, all of a sudden things just opened up to me that, that weren't necessarily available to me on active duty. So it was the best decision I made, and I've, I've done so many great and interesting things. Um, and I look forward to continuing doing that. You know, I'm a year 19, but there's just so many interesting opportunities that are still out there and things that I still want to do. And the fortunate thing is, um, the Navy Reserve Law Program lets you do that.